Hello and welcome back to Mad Mouse Games. Today we're going to be doing another box art challenge. If you want to see the last one that I did, check it out up here. The goal of today's video is to see if I can duplicate this box art. So, let's get into it. And that is the easiest way to duplicate box art. Look at that. It's almost an exact match. I mean, when are you ever going to get any better than that? I mean... Hello? What do you mean that's not what they meant when they said do box art again? What? That's box art. It's, it's beautiful. I mean, come on. Okay... Okay. 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 Okay, 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 okay. Okay, thanks. Well, it appears that that's not quite what they meant when they said duplicate box art. So, let's go ahead and take this guy who I already primed up. Let's get him painted and try to match the box art as closely as possible. Let's get into it. Into it. Into it. Into it. Into it. I started off painting this miniature by face cooking the entire figure. Looking at the box art, I could tell that the fur was a darker color than the feathers. So I started by face coating the fur with a dark, burnt umber color. After doing that, I moved on to base coating the feathers, which I did with a lighter brown, which was a brown oxide. Next, I laid a base coat color for the eyes. I could tell from the box art that the eyes had kind of an orange rim around them, so I decided to base coat the eyes orange, and I would add the yellow back in later. The one thing I decided to change about this miniature from the box art was the beak. I didn't like the black beak, so I decided to make it yellow, similar to the eyes. One thing I could tell from the box art was the inside of the ears actually looked kind of fleshy, so I added this purple hue here to give the ears more of a fleshy color. Next I started adding a light tan highlight to the fur, as well as some of the areas on the face. I would later come back through and do a light dry brush of different browns over the fur to give it a more dynamic color as right now it doesn't have a whole lot of shading to it. The paws here I did a very light highlight as well and I came back over and glazed it with a darker brown. This gave it a really nice look and blended it in a little bit and I did this several times over the course of painting the miniature to build it up to what it would finally look like. Here you can see me coming back in and dry brushing with a lighter brown over the dark original base coat and then coming back in with even a lighter dry brush to hit some of those higher raised areas of the fur which gave this model a real nice look. Next, I added some even better highlights. I went back to the original light tan color and added it over the brow uh, above there, as well as some other spots on the fur. As you can see, it looks much more blended now as I add that color.
Here you can see me again adding a light tan to the base of the palm of the bear's paw and I would glaze over that again to make sure it blends well. Finally, it was on to adding the yellow to the eyes. One thing I've noticed when painting with yellow is that it does not cover very well, and you normally have to come back through and add several layers of paint before it actually appears yellow. Here you can see me adding a final highlight to the feathers. I basically use the exact same highlight color I was using for the fur and this really gives a cohesive look to the model as all of the highlights are the same color. Lastly was the eyes. In the picture of the box art they appear complicated but I took it step by step and really simplified it. First I added a drop of brown, then I added a slightly lighter shade of brown and put it in the middle of the original drop of brown. Finally, it was time to add the pupil. I took my time, went really slow, took a, just a tiny bit of black and placed it right in the middle of the rest of the brown. As you can see, I tried to just be really light with it. And then just in the corner of the pupil, I added a dash of white. You could see that in the box art, and I think it really came out well on the miniature. Overall, I think this really matched well with the box art, and I learned quite a bit while doing it. I really liked the purple inside the ears to give it a fleshier look. I think that was really nice, and I was glad that I saw that. It's something that I'll definitely use again. The other thing is the eyes. I think it, doing that kind of eye on a smaller miniature would be much harder, but because of how big the eyes of this miniature are, it was really good practice. And I think it came out looking really good. I never thought about adding the speck of white to kind of simulate that there's a light that the owlbear's looking at, but I think it came out really, really good. So I want to thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please leave it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Let me know in the comments what you think.